Good morning. It's Wednesday, November 4th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Breaking with Tradition. And our scripture is Matthew chapter 15, where the tax collector writes, Some Pharisees and teachers of religious law now arrived from Jerusalem to see Jesus. They asked him, Why do your disciples disobey our age-old tradition? For they ignore our tradition of ceremonial hand-washing before they eat. Jesus replied, And why do you, by your traditions, violate the direct commandments of God? For instance, God says, Honor your father and mother, and anyone who speaks disrespectfully of father or mother must be put to death. But you say it is all right for people to say to their parents, Sorry, I can't help you, for I vowed to give to God what I would have given to you. In this way you say they don't need to honor their parents, and so you cancel the word of God for the sake of your own tradition. You hypocrites! Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you, for he wrote, These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Their worship is a farce, for they teach man-made ideas as commands from God. In the Gospel records, Jesus responded to people consistently, no matter who asked the question. Or, more accurately, Jesus responded specifically depending upon how questions were asked. In this case, the lawyers were interrogating with a loaded question intended to put Jesus in his place. It worked. As Jesus answered, it was obvious he owned the high ground and turned the question right back on the pompous attitude the Pharisees owned. The side lesson here is that you'd better get prayed up and humbled down before you ask God a question. If you go to him demanding he defend what he's doing, you're in for a rough ride. You'll fare much better if you go humbly, truly seeking answers for how to rightly understand something or how you can honor God with what you don't understand. I've watched enough police dramas over the years to have picked up a few Sherlock Holmes kind of human nature maxims about criminals. In an ongoing investigation by police, many criminals cannot stand not knowing what their opposition knows, so they attempt to implant themselves into the process. The Pharisees are a study in this concept. They are as guilty as can be in having ignored God's ways for so long they can't see their own sin. Still, they enter the arena with a question that opens the door for Jesus to expose the so-called wise leaders and teachers of the law who accuse Jesus of what they themselves are doing. Criminology 101 tells us the Pharisees are rattled by Jesus' lack of convention. But they make a rookie mistake for Marxist wannabes. They attack Jesus' motives without protecting their own flank. Jesus' answer moves the debate quickly from a neglected hand-washing tradition to neglecting aged parents fueled by greed and accomplished with lies. Jesus turns the Pharisees' game on its ear by upping the ante a hundredfold. And it put the Pharisees on the defensive. In the next several chapters of Matthew, the debate goes badly for the elders and rulers, and the final plan of finding a way to silence Jesus permanently becomes the final nail in their ethical and spiritual coffins. Ironically, it also becomes the key to how Jesus would offer God's grace to all humanity. They chose a cross to silence a Savior. For you today... The question is easily begged in this event. Which is more important, man's preferences or God's word? Eat you on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.